people, welcome back to another episode of Arsenio's IELTS Speaking. Guys, I told you like I told you just yesterday. Well, actually, I'm doing this right after, but I'm uploading it later. But with that being said, guys, it's all about getting the speaking part of this down. Now, of course, I got a lot of reading coming. I got some writing that I'm going to start uploading and putting in PDFs. But right now, I'm just throwing a lot of different things out there for you. Yes, a you. So what I want to focus on today is the part two. The part two, again, it says talk between one and a half minutes and two minutes. No, speak for three. It's funny, a lot of people from England, they would probably say, no, you don't want to speak for three. But, 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 but. I have one teacher, as a matter of fact, had one teacher, he said, you know what? If they write 151 words and they're supposed to only write 150, they won't even read it. I'm like, well, they're going to read it. They're not just going to count it. There's no way that they're going to just say, oh, because he went over one word, we're going to keep completely discredit the entire writing task. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. So guys, if it says one and a half minutes to two minutes, he's going to continue or she's going to continue asking you questions about that specific thing. That's what you want to avoid. You want them to simply say, okay, good, we're all done. Or go into part three. You see what I mean? You don't want them to say, tell me more, tell me more, because that means you didn't speak enough. Remember, keep that in mind. So, <sighs> part two, here we go. Describe someone you know who does something well. Now, of course, I'm going to put this in the description. I'm going to make sure I save this, okay? So you guys know what you're doing. And again, have a nice little timer. It could be your phone, it could be this, it could be that, anything that records the time. And once you got that, everything's all good. So here we go. Describe someone you know well. And I was like, man, I should talk about the anesthetist I used to work with, the doctor, uh, the, some of the dentists I worked with back in Las Vegas and Sydney and some of the teachers, yeah, right. <laughs> um, I could talk about you know, quite a few people, but I said, you know what? Let me talk about this guy that's out of his mind. So here we go. It is two minutes and 20 seconds right now. I'm going to start at the 2.30 mark, and we're going to see how long that can go for. All right? So in three, two, one. So today I'm going to talk about a man by the name of Free. Now, Free is one of these... Interesting characters. One of the most interesting characters I had ever met before in my life at this particular moment. Now, let me explain why. There's a gym that I work out at. It's called the Lab BKK here in Bangkok, right down the street. And you know what? The first time I started working out there, the first trainer I met there, his name was Boss. But then I met this guy named Free. Now, Free was a very, very interesting character. His personality is a little bit close. He does smile. He does laugh once in a while. He does talk a lot when you get to know him. But when he's training you, it's hell. And so I'm going to tell you why this guy does training so well. So let's just, let's just go to this, right? <sighs> Last night, I was at his class, right? Now, the class is normally for an hour. You're working out with other people. It's called Lab Challenge, okay? So you're doing deadlifts. Uh, you're doing TRX movements. You're doing, um, what is it, lunges, a lot of different, like, uh, push-ups. And it just all depends what type of day it is. But he is brutal. He continues to pound away at me at least every three to five minutes. Now, me, given the fact that I had ran about 10 kilometers earlier in the morning, for some odd reason, I decided to join this class. And that was the biggest problem of my life. Why? Because I didn't have any energy. I did have some energy, but my I had knee inflammation. I had a little bit of inflammation in my knee. My legs were just dead. And so when we started working out, I was like, oh, this is going to be brutal. And you know what? Every three to four minutes, he would come up to me with a very, very discontent voice to say, AJ, come on, man. Come on. What are you doing? Come on, better. And then he would throw a, literally a 10 kilogram bag on my back while I'm doing planks. Planks is basically, you know, the plank the hysteria that it went down like five years ago. But planks, literally, you're putting your elbows and your hand on the floor like that, and you're holding yourself up, right? He would throw a 10 kilogram bag right on my back, and I'm like, oh my God, don't do this to me. But he did it. And so what he does so well is he ultimately allows me to break that paradigm. That, that he, he allows me to pull that, that little weak, that little weakling out of myself. And he makes me show 
the true potential of what's behind. See, when your body and everything gets gone when you're working out and you no longer have your body, your legs, your arms, whatever, it's all gone, especially when you're doing these competitions, it comes to right here, all mental grit. And if you don't have the mental grit, he's going to make sure that you become exposed, break you down, and then build you back up. That's why my main man, Free, the personal trainer, is a beast at what he does. <laughs> Boom! That was three minutes. Oh my God, that was three minutes. Now, of course, guys, I'm a native speaker. Uh, I covered all the questions, who this person is, how you know this person, what they do well, explain why do you think this person is good at doing this. It's because... It's all about mind games. And I gave an excellent example to what he does. That was three minutes. It all depends if they interrupt you, but they're going to be very excited if you talk for three minutes. Oh, believe me. They're not going to say, you were only supposed to speak for a minute and a half. They're not going to say that. If they do, say shut up because they can't dock you for saying shut up. They can't dock you for being rude. No, I'm kidding. Don't do that. Um, I would. I would. Absolutely, I would. I always do. Uh, but anyways... Just telling you guys, hold on, are we leveled? Okay, we're good. Just letting you guys know, the more you talk, the better. I just gave a story basically going one, two, three, and four questions right down on the other side of that screen, which I'm going to put in the description. Guys, have fun with it. Don't be nervous. Tell a story, and you saw my hands and whatnot. Now me, I'm very, very flamboyant with the arms because that's just how I is. My mom used to say, I is who I is. It's completely incorrect grammar, but it's the truth. Be who you are. If you use your hands a lot, use your hands a lot. If you don't use your hands a lot, don't use your hands a lot. Don't try to do something outside the box the day of your test. Got it? So, with that being said, guys, part two is done. If you guys got any questions, you know how to leave a comment in the comment box. And until then, baby, this is your host. Thanks for tuning in. Part three coming your way tomorrow. Over and out.